I'm Jake, I'm 26 years old and I'm from Lancashire in the northwest. I suffered a severe ankle injury in November 2021 to which I broke my ankle at the same place which I did eight years ago so ultimately I needed to find another sport which I could sort of throw myself into because I've been playing football all my life and triathlon was just the sport that appealed to me the most since wanting to compete in it from a young age. I signed up for my first local triathlon and after doing it I was hooked on it and ever since I've just I'm so passionate about it and I love the sport and if I could give anyone any advice if they suffer an injury or get injured through the career I'd just try and say stay positive um, make sure that you look after yourself give yourself the correct physio and the correct treatment because without those things without putting myself through that work um, during those difficult times when I was injured I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be competing now um, but it's all about having that self-belief to know where you're going to be able to get to. Having just started out in the sport, I found myself in a situation now where I want to compete at a higher level, as anyone would do. I've gone from sort of the enjoyment stage, the doing it to taking part stage, to the now I want to compete to do the best I can stage. So for me personally, my goal and target is to start competing and start placing, say, in the top 20 of each race. Um, I know that's a lot to ask, but I'm confident in my own ability that I can train um, hard and I can put the work effort in to ultimately get there. I think in two, three years time, I'd like to be competing in Ironmans. Um, it's something which I've always been passionate about and I've always wanted to compete in. But for the moment, I'm concentrating obviously on the short distances slash standard distance of triathlon and duathlon as well. And I'm going to throw in some running events there as well. So I think just knowing what my limits are, not overtraining and just staying focused on the task ahead. When competing in a triathlon, what you usually find is that you are competing against people who are competing in the first triathlons, you're competing against people who have done a few like myself, and then you're competing against people who are training for um, the high level events such as Ironmans, and that can be across Europe, it can be across the world. So what you usually find in these events is that the elite athletes are normally the individuals who are very, very skilled at the sport. It's fantastic racing against these people because you're setting yourself targets and goals in what you want to do. Personally, I want to be at that level one day. Um, however, I know that is quite a long way away. So I think set myself targets, set myself small goals in, in each race to understand where I can get to in the next race. It's really important. It's just about enjoying the race that you're in. It's about enjoying what you're doing and understanding why you're doing it. Everyone's got personal goals, minds to get better and to become the best I can be at triathlons. So what I would say for any novice going into their first triathlon is that don't be scared. I know that triathlons seem really daunting at first. Going into a triathlon is something which for a lot of people will be extremely off-putting. The majority of people, you tell that you're doing a triathlon, they raise their, raise their eyebrows at you. But if you're going to do your first triathlon, just go into it with no expectations and just do it as enjoyment. I remember when I did my first triathlon, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I rocked up with my dad's bike. I borrowed cycling shoes off my uncle and I didn't have a clue. Uh, I remember in transition, I spent about five minutes trying to get some socks on. And ultimately these were all just things that when I look back on, they were just hilarious. So I think for anyone who's just starting out, you're gonna make these mistakes. You're gonna go through these stages in your triathlons, which you think, why on earth did I do that? I still compete now and I'm still at the point where I'm like, why on earth did I do that? However, I think it's just about understanding your goals and expectations, knowing your limits and ultimately enjoying it because the whole reason people participate in sport is to enjoy it.
any triathlon you participate in, no matter if a person who's competing has won an Ironman, if someone's competing and they're doing the first ever triathlon, I think every single person who participates in a triathlon wants the best for their another person. Whether you're completely out of breath and you feel like you can't go on anymore or whether you're absolutely flying around the course, no matter who you are, you will get encouraged by anyone. Whether it's the event marshals, whether it's other people competing, triathlon is probably one of the friendliest sports I've ever participated in, which is hence why I love it. So to wrap it up, I'm a firm believer that everything does happen for a reason. So myself getting that injury in 2021 has led me down this path of triathlon and I would say that anyone who wants to compete at any point in their life, just do it. Don't think about it, just do it because if you think about it, you won't do it. I've thought about things in the past and I've not done it before, but with triathlon, I threw myself in and now look at me a year later, five triathlons down, a half marathon down and I'm still looking at competing in more. So never give up and do it.